welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. So this is going to be the last video I record for a while. We're going to take a short flight from here in Rock Hill, or in Rock Hill, Spartanburg Regional, to Rock Hill. Sort of a, one of my uh, interesting route that I took in real life before. So um, I'm going to do cargo. So I've got the cargo loaded up. I'm going through the um, checklist to start the aircraft. So if your flight special complete, passenger complete, complete, seat belts adjust and lock. Doors closed and locked. Doors closed and locked. Brakes test and set. Okay. Circuit breakers check in. At the turn that on to do the flight plan. Dual equipment autopilot off. Evox power switch off. Okay. Fuel selector both. Okay. Fuel shut off valve open in. Okay. Thought it open one fourth inch. Mixture idle cut off. Okay. Good. Done by battery switch test hold 20 seconds. One, two, Three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. This goes on. It's already in. Uh, to deal with it, engine game system check parameters. Twenty-four volts minimum. In bolts 1.5 or less, S verify discharge. And by battery initiator, it's because we have this on. Okay, good. Propeller area clear, clear prop. Turn these back on. Beacon on. Okay. I think we're supposed to start the engine here. Okay. Mixture rich. Okay. Ox fuel pump on three five seconds and off. One, two, three, four, five. Mixture lean. Feet ready to break. Engine start. There we go. After starting, throttle was up to 1000 RPM. Pressure check. Amps. It's all charge. Global check off. Avionics bus switch one and two on. A flight plan is saved. Good. Let's get some ATIS if we can. Hero Sierra Papa Alpha. Automated weather observation 1100 Zulu. Wind calm. Visibility, 1-0. Sky condition, clear. Temperature, 1-8 Celsius. Dew point, 1-0 okay. Celsius. <laughs> Altimeter, 3-0-0-7. 3-0-0-7. Kilo Sierra Papa Alpha, automated weather observation, 1-2-0-0-0-0. High pressure. Wind, calm. Visibility, 1-0. Sky condition, okay. clear. Temperature, 1-8 Celsius. Dew point, 1-0 Celsius. Taxi, I'll taxi light is required. Zero, zero, Landing light is required. Kilo, I'm going to turn it on. Strobe on. One, two, zero, 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 Nav lights on. Parking brake release. Brakes test. Rudder test. So, let's do out here. One, eight, Dew point, one, zero, 
Alright, good. So. We're going for takeoff, so let's see. Where are we close to? Let's go 005. Depart. We're departing east. Kilo Sierra Papa Alpha traffic Singa 776 taking off runway 5 departure to the east. Okay, good. So there's that. Next is run up. We'll do that when we get closer. Brakes released. Alright, let's go. You're on the runway, so let's go ahead and uh, do the run-up check. So parking brake set, seat most up right, seat belt secures, doors closed and locked. Flight controls free and correct. No red X's. Let's set the backup altimeter. And by altimeter set 3007. Instruments checked. Stand by, stand by, stand by. Good. Altitude selector check. Let's go ahead and set that. I want to stay at 2000. <coughs> stand by, five instruments. Okay. Mixture rich. Fuel selector both. Autopilot engage. Move against autopilot, the controls. Trim disconnect. Light director off. Director off. There we go. Next, elevator trim set for takeoff. There we go. Throttles at 1800 RPM. Okay, magnetos, right, both, left, both. Right. Both. Left. Both. Okay. Vacuum gauge check 4.5 to 5.4. Okay. The indicators check. Altimeters check in green. Okay, I'm measuring voltmeters. Okay, we're good. Well pressure, okay, temp check in the green, okay. Enunciators, none displayed, engine idle. Okay, just to 1000 RPM. Flap set for takeoff. That is 10 degrees, okay. Pedal heat as required, let's go ahead and turn it on. Heading indicator or just the compass, what's the compass say? 
they were good transponder altitude or on in this case code two zero zero back on back next for takeoff calm frequency set Take off the part east. Nav frequency set. GPS flight plan is desired. CDI key. GPS. Cabin windows closed and locked. Parking brakes released. So, up the parting east. Kilo Sierra Papa Alpha traffic Singa 776 taking off runway 5 east departure. Let's go. For takeoff checklist complete. Let's go. No wind. Oh, I overshot like crazy. factor there's no P factor in this bird interesting there it is nope P factor is actually backwards okay rotate correct nose down speed and trim back is that the trim switch yes it is okay push this down Guard turn. Okay. Level off. Oh, that wasn't poorly coordinated turn. Right? That's fine. Flaps up. Higher than 2,000. Let's go 3,000, I believe. Greer approach Singa 776 is type Cessna Skyhawk 2 miles south of Kilo Sierra Papa Alpha 1,800 feet. Request flight following. Okay, now we're trimmed. Squawk code. Squawk one three four four Singa seven seven six. Singa seven seven six radar contact two miles southeast of Kilo Sierra Papa Alpha two thousand two hundred feet. Altimeter three zero decimal zero six. Okay, good. Roger Singa now seven let's seven make a turn. six. A properly coordinated turn to join the GPS track. Head to Rock Hill. Okay. Now let's keep 
going. Back off here, back off the power. Different than trimming a zenith, that's for sure. Okay, so we'll just have to um, keep it here with proper Bingo. flying Seven techniques. Contact Greer approach on one one nine or decimal four. Good day. One one nine or decimal four, Singa seven seven six. Okay, and we're going to go VFR. Singa seven seven six three thousand feet. All right, here we are. Singa seven seven six career approach altimeter three zero decimal zero six radar contact continue. We're going to keep going VFR to Rock Hill. So it's a pretty good day outside today. Things looking great. don't exactly see the um, range that we have to go. It's not very far. Rock Hill's not, as far as um, flying a plane is concerned, it's not too far from Greenville, Spartanburg and Greenville in these areas. Whoa. Uncoordinated. There we go. I wonder if that's wind or P-factor pushing me there. we go. I don't want to use autopilot. Let's take a look outside and see what we've got. Not bad. Carry in some cargo. Not bad. Pretty good looking actually on a good day. And yet again, that's why I hate flying from the outside. Can't see. Can't tell. There we go. Let's keep going. And the plan is actually after this, after I finish um, recording this video, I'm going to take a break from recording for about a month. I have videos set up for that though, while I get some real life stuff done, including flying of course, so but I won't need to touch the um, recording stuff for like a month, and I'm looking forward to that, you know? I need a break. I haven't recorded Pokemon in forever. I've been doing raids though. I have been doing raids. Raids have been getting raided. I didn't do a whole lot of the premier raids though. I've been a little bit burnt out on that too to be honest. So this break is uh, necessary. Okay. This is a ne 
necessary break for me that I'm going to be taking. But, you know, that comes once we shut down the engine, just like in real life. Awesome VFR day out here today. Wonder what changed in my airplane configuration that made me have to make such a drastic change in trim. There we go. or something? Turbulence? I don't know. There we go. Hey, now. Getting a bit off course now. Also have some more stuff to more ideas, more things to do in um, the flight sims in the real world after I come back from break. If I make any videos while I'm on break, it'll be real world stuff. Because you can't exactly just fire up a computer and do stuff in the real world. You have to catch it when it's there. Well, that's what's happening. My speed is changing. That's why the uh, configuration is changing so much. Have to scan that too, you know? Airspeed, altitude, course, outside. Airspeed, altitude, course, outside. back in. Okay. I personally would like to know how far we have left to go. Things got to be updated, by the way. Aha, a little bit off course. And into the sun as it rises in the east. 
there's not a whole lot going on in this video, I'm sorry. Just me rambling as I fly to the sunrise. Without the use of an autopilot. Okay, so we're trimmed properly. So let's go ahead and uh, put the speed to maintain. Singa, seven seven six contact Charlotte approach on one two zero decimal zero five. Good day. Got a little too low there. One two zero decimal zero five. Singa seven seven six. Goodbye. Charlotte approach Singa seven seven six two thousand nine hundred feet. Well, there we go. Charlotte approach altimeter three zero decimal zero five radar contact continue. We'll be continuing. This is sort of where I want to be right here. I see Charlotte over there, like the city. I had a hard time getting the airplane back there. I haven't flown Cessna in forever. But again, it's probably why I could use the brake. Just, you know, relax a bit. Not record videos. That's the, that's the big thing, not record videos. I got other stuff I need to do. Including, like, real-world flying stuff, which I always record, so... getting prepped for recording the next one of those which will probably already be done by the time you see this video on the airplane here. Well, as much as you can feel in a sim, that is. Trying to keep my nose outside. My eyes, I mean. Coordinated there. I mean, it should be coming into view sometime soon. Rock Hill Airport. And level. something up there. That patch that I see looks like the city of Charlotte itself. make this a lot faster just by speeding up. But I kind of want to keep it here. It'll make it easier to slow down when the time comes to do that. And as I say that, the 
airport that I'm going to be landing at comes into view. There it is, Rock Hill County Airport, not international. There's no way a Rock Hill Airport can be international. There it is. Descending. When we get to that point that I'm aiming for, and also um, reducing speed. There it is. Long have been airborne. 30 minute flight and yeah, that's short enough for this thing oh I know it's also the weight of the airplane is changing because of the fuel so that probably is the city of Charlotte back there we're not going in there into the city of Charlotte. I don't want to deal with all those big jets. Maybe that'll be my next X-Plane project, a nice long haul. But again, that is for after my break. I got too much stuff to do recently, real life stuff that I gotta get ready for and all that. I R L procedures I suppose control equipment off 12 volt power switch off these landings drove the way they are well we didn't even leave the state of South Carolina in this thing we'll do a twin next time and go faster the autopilot and do like a regional the regional flight but again after my break because I'm really starting to get burned out with this Real flying is not burning me out at all. Recording videos, so time to take a break. Right now getting too high. We can start descending now anyways. We're 
headed runway two. Kilo uniform Zulu Alpha traffic signal 7766 so miles southwest 2800 feet inbound to land runway two. Because I'm having to select radio stuff with the hand, my dominant hands I'd normally be flying with, but yeah. Let's descend. Hold the pitch. Until the runway is in sight, which it's not. it up there Something in the general direction that it should be in okay there it is I see it they need to do some pattern work here start descending ever so slightly put down one degree of flaps Still out of whack here. So I can't turn my head like I'd be able to do in real life. And when flying a pattern in real life, guess what? You do turn your head. Okay, there we go. Getting too slow. Full flaps. Trim down. Five hundred. Kilo uniform Zulu Alpha traffic singer seven seven six is on final runway two to land. The pattern I see is slightly harder in sim because I would. I dare say that because you can't, like the actual flying is, that's better, harder in real life, but the patterns themselves are harder in sim because um, you can't turn your head and see where exactly where you are. life you could just turn your head right. don't underestimate the um, worthiness of turning your head I like turning my head I thank God that I have a neck that I can do that Oh, that's a bounce. 
bounced it. Oh well. Did that in real life too recently, trying to learn how to land a plane properly. Okay. And now we put the brakes on. We can let it off a little vacate. Welcome to Rock Hill. I'm going to go ahead and stop here. Okay, and now it's clear of runway. Kilo Uniform Zulu Alpha traffic Singa 776 is clear of the runway. Okay, next, normal takeoff. In flight climb, flight cruise, in flight descent before landing, normal landing, after landing flaps up, landing lights as required, turn those off, taxi lights leave them on, elevator trim reset to neutral, oh, okay, strobe off, transponder standby. Stand by. Back. Okay, let's go to a place to park. See you at the parking spot. Alright, we're here, so I'm just gonna pick a place to uh, stop. Go outside for this one. here and then the pilot is going to run to the restroom probably also a good reason to make sure that your your airplane's tanks are full but your tanks are empty <laughs> before you go fly a plane when I fly in real life I always make sure my tanks are empty first if you know what I mean I prefer my tanks be empty when I fly. My plane's tanks be full. My uh, internal tanks are empty, if you know what I mean. Just imagine how frustrating a go-around would be if you had to uh, do it with your internal tanks full. So I wasn't fully prepared for this fight because my uh, internal tanks were full. And stop. All right, idle. Okay, parking brake. Okay, good. Black and. Parking, parking brake set, avionics switch plus one and two off. Go ahead and turn the taxi light off. Okay, now I have taxi light off. Okay, avionics engine idle, check 650 RPM, good. Magneto's cutoff test, make sure, okay, idle cutoff. Yep, 30 minutes of flying time. Checklist complete. Okay, securing, ignition off, taxi light off, nav light off, master switch alt and bat off, stand battery switch off, fuel selector left to right.
Hopefully I didn't get in. Okay, full selector left to right. Doors, windows, secure. Wheel chocks tie downs as required. Securing airplane checklist complete. So let's go ahead and open this up. And open this up. Go ahead and put the chocks and the tie downs on. External covers, tie downs, chocks. Save. Cargo. Unload. Okay, that's that. Welcome to Rock Hill. So I'm going to take this for a screenshot. This is good with the sun in it. And... Okay, that's that. So, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time, and... Goodbye.